Hello everybody and welcome back to some more of the Mega Modded Gungeon series. We're jumping in once again and I'm probably going to do a Swindler run. It's been a little bit and by a little bit I mean like two days. But uh, I just really enjoy the Swindler. He's a lot of fun. So let's give another Swindler run a go. He's of course been updated and changed and stuff since. I just need to quickly go and make sure that like Bless Run isn't on. Can't afford my blessing then be gone. Uh, where did all my hegemony credits go? Also, I've never seen that animation before. Yeah, where the hell did all my hegemony credits go? Okay. Um, I thought I had more than zero. Not quite sure where they uh, they got off to. But anyways, let's jump into a run and see what happens, I guess. I don't exactly need them for anything. Um, unless I want to do the little cheaty cheaty start. But yeah, um, I had like 2,000. Where the hell did they go? I did I did have that blessed run last episode that was very cursed. Also, I do apologize. There was only one episode last week. Um, I was supposed to be doing a video for the Friday, um, but I just had something come up and I couldn't. Oh, we got we still got a Rob Ross on. Okay, nice, 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 nice. I forgot about a Rob Ross. We were trying to show that off in the last episode, uh, but blessed mode be damned. It created... Many an issue. Um, and so hopefully, now that we don't have Bless Mode on, a Rob Ross Mode should be a little more well showcased. A little more properly showcased and we can have some fun with it. It does change a good few bits. Mainly, I think, on the first level or level zero. It's just going to be some new elites. Um, but it might change some other things as well that I don't quite remember. I like it. It's kind of like an Ascension Mode in Slay the Spire where things are going to get more difficult. Depending on our Aroboros level, every win it's going to increment our level by one. And um, we're going to have to deal with the consequences of what comes, which I honestly don't know what those consequences will be. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be some really, really rough, um, really, really rough stuff on some of the levels, especially later on. I don't even know how many levels there are. But um, an extra challenge is welcome. An extra challenge is welcome. Now, I do have to say, unfortunately... For me and many of the other people in the Gungeon community, the Lexus series on Modded Gungeon has now ended. It was only going to be a mini-series, and he actually already extended it about 10 episodes past where he initially was going to run it for. So that was nice, but unfortunately it is now, uh, it has now perished. It is no longer, so it's back to just me again. <laughs> but I am still going to try um, and do some stuff with Alexa pretty soon, so there'll be at least one more video uh, fairly soon-ish. We'll see. First bag. Okay, here's some of the elites. This elite effect looks awesome. I'll tell you what, Bunny is like an absolute master of just making these wacky visual effects. Like, the, some of them are a bit overbearing, I'll admit, especially like um, the tells on the... Um, on the that, that boss, the I can't remember what the hell it's called now. The one that you got to pay Gemini credits to activate. That one can be a bit overwhelming, but honestly, they they still look really fucking cool. That one's left some jamming stuff. Oh, that actually got me. You kidding? I thought I rolled. I was getting really like worried that I was gonna accidentally roll into the table. Oh, dude, this set me back so far. I mean, technically, I can get more money out of this, right? I don't actually know. How does it work in terms of drops for money? Okay, no. It literally only reset that room. I thought it reset this whole path. Dark hallway. We got a gems dude there. He actually went down really fast. Oh, bugger. Again, I rolled over the table and took damage. Table rolls. Ah, bullshit. They take away your iframes. People that say otherwise are idiots and fools. Oh, lord. He a scary fella. Okay, we do need quite a bit of money. I, I do want to try and go to the jungle. So we do need quite a bit of money here. Good. Gotcha. 
Yeah, shoot two. I always forget what that enemy does. Okay, we got this chest here. We got... Tree room coming up, I think. Okay. I'm just I'm sad about the amount of sacks that I've got this floor. It's been it's been pretty pathetic, honestly. We've got like none. So there's one. Stuck in the wall that I actually did somehow manage to get. I, I basically only saw that one based on the audio cue. Actually, visually, I just didn't see that thing at all. Keep my eyes peeled for shop. Do you hold anything? Ooh, flak bullets is incredible. It's, it's not even like that good of an item in terms of how much DPS it gives you. It's just one of those items that's wholeheartedly just a lot of fun. It does add quite a, like a good amount of DPS, but it's, it's less than you'd expect. But it's just a lot of fun. Right, tree room, just be careful if there's any combat in here. Luckily there isn't. Um, right. Good. Well, the tree is lit. Good, good. In fact, I'm gonna go down now and buy the locks just so I know how much money I've got left. Nice. Go in here and buy flak bullets for 45. Good, good. And we might be able to get one chest here. I really hope it's this one. Do you, do you need to get away from that, that chest right now, my good sir? You need to get the hell away from that chest. I need you to stop hugging the chest. There you go. Okay, well, if we're going to get enough to open this chest, it's unfortunately going to be after our boss, which is not great because I might get hit on the boss. We'll try our best, though. It is one of the easier bosses, but he is a champion. And he's a Gorgon's Gaze champion, which is pretty fucking cool, actually. Now, one thing to note with a Gorgon's Gaze is you don't actually have to roll over it. You can just... Um, you can just look away from it. Don't really care about getting hit with the Gorgon's Gaze there. Wasn't going to be shooting for that time anyways. Definitely makes this fight quite a bit harder though. Trying to focus up really hard here. It's because, yeah, the Gorgon's Gaze doesn't make things that much more difficult. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, I did manage to kill him, but I did lose enough money to make it so that I couldn't get the chest. So, very sad. In fact, I was literally two off. That is very upsetting. I don't think there's any way in which I can get that money now that I can think of. There's an Among Us room here. I didn't realize about that. Um. Damn, I don't think there's any way I can get that money. That's a real shame, because that's a good chest. As if I got hit right towards the end. That Gorgon's Gage really made things a lot harder. It did. I can't even find a secret room here, so there's like nothing I can do. It's a shame. I'm just checking if there's a warm make down here. Sometimes there is. Doesn't look like it. Right. Big sad. Big sad. Anyhow. Let's get gone. We got some good stuff on this floor regardless. Flak bullets is really fun. Um, Yeah. The, this, this this shotgun is kind of weird, but it's a bit... It, it, it's, I guess it's a bit good. It's actually quite, quite a lot good. It's not very accurate, but flak bullets will help with that. I'm not too arsed. I am not too arsed.
We'll just push on forward. And see if we can open all three chests on this floor. That would be really nice. There is three chests on this floor, guaranteed. Because I definitely want to see if I can get uh, um, a better boss killer. Because this thing's good, but it's super close range. For the most part. It's definitely not very single targety. It's also got quite low max ammo as well. Which honestly means I should probably just not use it unless it's needed. For like enemies like this. Get close enough to him and it does take him out pretty quick. See you there. Try and look out for sacks on these floors, but it is going to be a little harder to see them on these floors, I would think. There's one. I think they're just going to end up blending in a little more. Honestly, let's start opening chests while we have the money. That's a, that's a really decent weapon for the boss. It's not a crazy good weapon, but Flak Bullet should increase its DPS a little bit, and it's decent enough. But yeah, I might as well start opening chests now before I start getting hit. Saving your money is a good idea if you know you're not going to get hit. But this floor, it's always a bit of a gamble, isn't it? The shotgun's so good, too. So very good. We're just hoping for more sack drops so we can get as many chests as we possibly can this floor. That's the sort of situation where that shotgun really shines. It can hit a lot of things with a really wide spread. Also, this kind of makes me feel better now because one of our chests we know is a bit worthless. I don't mind the uh, thingy chests, brown chests. I know I'm modded, they do have some cool stuff in them. But it makes my decision easier, to be honest. Oh, I love that. Automatically exploding on that guy to kill him. Oh, there's a sack there. I'm not going to be able to get that. Yeah. I knew that, that was going to be the case. Okay. I see you there. Careful. Okay, we're all good. We got a key there too. That's good amount of money as well. Right, let's go open this chest now. I haven't found my shop yet. I should maybe save just in case our shop's good. Because uh, obviously, I don't use it very often, but barter would be kind of nice to uh, to use here to do some re-rolling. This is a really cool champion. Like, it's not it's not a champ. Uh, it doesn't turn to jammed until you hit it. Or until it... Gets below a certain amount of HP, maybe it is. I'm not sure if it's exactly on hit. Mental heat fires. Good, good, we also have this door we need to open. I'm just going to do that now. Again, then I know how much money I have to spend. Apparently that door hasn't technically unlocked according to that there, but that's fine. We'll keep that there. I do I do want to try and go to the belly if I can here. Okay, this is a room for this. Keep forgetting the Gorgon's Gates can go through walls. It's a bit cheeky of it. Shop is here. Good, good. Unfortunately, the shop doesn't have anything insane in it, but the double gun is good. The double gun is good. Um, I think we'll go and crack this blue chest open up here that dropped randomly. Jetpack. Um, so... Like I said, jetpack's pretty good. Jetpack's one of those things that it's kind of risky because obviously it takes away your ability to dodge roll. Gun muncher. Not really. Takes away your ability to dodge roll, but I do quite like it. The ability to fly 
and um, and the speed boost is really nice on mushrooms. Just gotta know when to turn it off is the problem. But the thing is, most of the time you shouldn't be dodge rolling anyways, so it doesn't really take that much away from you. But it just means rooms like this I don't have to worry about navigating so much. So it'd also be really nice for the Belly of the Beast, because I specifically designed the Belly of the Beast to be a floor that's kind of frustrating um, because of the amount of pits that it has. So it should hopefully help on that floor quite a lot. Extra blank is kind of good. Do not know what champion type that is. I'm guessing that's just an aura that you can drop down that stops us from firing, maybe? Yeah, it is, it is. That's pretty cool. I like that too. These uh, new champion types are really interesting. And this is why I was saving my money. We get ourselves this strange looking thing. Mirror Guanstone. I mean, for an A tier, I'm not super happy about a Guanstone, but I'm going to guess it reflects bullets and that is exactly what it does. What mod is this from? Frost on Gunfire. Okay, nice. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of a low, a low tier A tier. But we haven't seen it in action yet. It does spin relatively fast. It might be really, really good. Especially on bosses. Managed to conserve a lot of ammo here. Out for the sack drops on these guys. Not too bad. Ah, it's a no it's a shame it doesn't have a synergy with the glass guanstones, to be honest. Uh, right, I think we got one more chest to find, maybe? No, no, we don't. We found the brown chest over there. Honestly, I might buy the brown chest still. We've got we've almost got enough money here. That was really, really stupid of me. I had my jetpack available, and I thought he'd shoot a little earlier than he did, so I got really close. Very, very dumb of me. I lost an, uh, the money that I needed. Right, turn off the jetpack definitely here. We don't want that active right now. And I think I'm just going to use the Hegemony Carbine here to keep it a distance. Um, this is a boss that's obviously known to be a stanking her. Oh, you bugger. And my money's fucking stuck on the other side of the wall as well. This boss is just generally very, very difficult early on if you don't have a good boss killer. But I think this makes the floor fun. It's, it's got a unique challenge to it. This attack specifically is one that I find really hard. Also, yeah, this Mirror Guanstone is, is very mid for an A tier. But then again, not all A tiers are, are made equal. Not every single one of them should be an absolute banger. Um, it's just, maybe doesn't move quite as fast, but isn't quite big enough to, like, be super impactful. Right, only once hit isn't too bad. I did lose quite a bit of money, so the uh, brown chest is probably out of reach. Yeah, again, two casings off of it. And we get ourselves the double duck semi-automatic. Quack shot. Um... Existing bolt action pistol model with a customized grip, shamelessly shipped to the Gungeon by its own creator as an attempt to raise its own notoriety. Interesting. We'll make sure we crack this open. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I like this. It literally just fires two ducks. Okay. I like it. It's cool. Right, uh, let's grab this. I don't know if I'll be able to keep this alive, but I'm going to try.
Let's get a gun. Yeah, I'm not going to use my jetpack here because although the speed boost is great, I feel removing the ability to dodge roll just removes my safety. Uh, I really would rather not be dodge rolling, but it, it does remove my safety and I'd, I'd rather not mess, tempt fate with this piece of armor. I'll see if I can get it there. It, basically, if it's at the very end of the floor, it's unlikely. If it's near the start, then I might have a decent chance. As this character, I tend to try and not get shot too much anyways. Okay, this, this weapon's pretty good. Because it, 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 like, hits a duck at the end of its flight path. I like this. It's very nice. It's going to be a little hard to see which, which ones have been reflected and which ones haven't, I'll be honest. It's not got a ton of ammo, but honestly, 100 with only two and a mag is enough. Oh, yeah, honestly, I think I love this weapon. I think this is really fun. Especially flak bullets makes it even funnier. It's basically like a two-shot weapon that's got a little bit of homing associated with it, essentially. And I honestly think I'm going to take full ammo for it, even though my hegemony is much, much lower at like just over half. This thing does good damage on the hit, and then the ducks do pretty decent damage as well. This might be it. Okay, this is unfortunately the wrong one. We got the clicker, which doesn't work very well on controller. It does work. Oh, with flak bullets, it's kind of interesting. Um, on PC, this, this, this weapon's much, much better. On controller, it's kind of iffy. As you can probably imagine. And I'm just gonna wait for these shots to dissipate before I try and move, just in case. I have to admit, really, really enjoying this weapon. Honestly, for a room like this, just jetpack over the gaps, just in case I miss my dodge roll. I really like the fact that it pierces through them, and the ducks come back from the other side. This room kind of scares me. We're okay though, we got through it. Unfortunately, not a lot there for us. And we did find it. Very nice, we can put our crest there. Just gotta to remember to actually go to this floor after the boss fight now. Only thing is, situations like this, where you're, hit, where you're hitting a wall quite far away from the enemy you're shooting at, doesn't work so well. But situations like that, however, don't have to hit the main shot, just have to hit with the duck. Pretty cool. I imagine this weapon's similar to the Genie's Lamp as well, where it's really good with any multi-shots that you might have. Talk, hello. Portable Pylon, the Rusty Amulet, and the Chem Grenade. Eh, I don't think any of those are super good. I can just use my, uh, my jetpack for getting around as well, which is kind of nice. I think I'm just going to take the chest, to be honest. And what did I just say? It's really good with things where you fire more bullets and we get exactly that. That's so good. I'm so glad I took the chest. Because now we're going to be creating double the amount of ducks. Now, some of them will be at the other side of the room, which makes them less useful. But they're still going to be pretty good. This has made this weapon very, very good. Uh, I'm hoping I can get ammo for it here because I'd love to use it on the next floor. Unfortunately not. The hammer buster's pretty decent though. Um, oh, hammer, whatever it's called. Is there ammo in here? There is. <sighs> Can't quite afford it, unfortunately. I really would have liked ammo there. Uh, okay, um, I think we're good to go. We can take our leave just up here. And what weapon do we want to use here? Maybe this thing could be good with uh, with backup gun.
I didn't realize this had unique music now. It's pretty cool. But anyways, enter we go. And yeah, I think I will use the jetpack on this floor a good amount because I specifically, like I said, designed this floor to have pits in every single room and a lot of inconvenient pits. I just thought, like, if you're in the stomach of a beast, there'd be a lot of stomach acid about. Um, it's kind of one of the big things that's in the stomach. So I really wanted to use the use the, the floor's palette to make it look that way. And I tried to incorporate pits into every room, including the starting room here, which I think Apache made, but it's still pretty cool that it's in there. Um, but yeah, even if you just see some of them that are like, that are like sort of off to the side. Wait. I'm able to like sometimes fire this gun without expending ammo. Is that like a thing that this gun does? Doesn't look like it. I wanted to do a backup gun, I think. Yeah, so just remember we can't roll. I can't believe I dodged that shot grub then by accident. That was very impressive. <laughs> very accidentally impressive. This thing's running out of ammo quick, but it's doing a very good job. I haven't seen a sack in a while. I'm not quite sure if that's because I've missed a lot of them or because there haven't been any. Good. Let's try and use this thing. I think with flak bullets and the backup gun, this thing's actually going to be really good. But actually navigating it or moving it around might not be so easy. But we've got our duck gun back now, so praise be. Praise be the duck gun. We're going to be creating ducks all over this bitch. One chest. Good thing is as well, the ducks just target whichever's closest. So it's not like the ducks can only hit the enemy that we initially hit. The ducks can just hit anywhere. Also, what happened to my ammo? I thought I just filled it up, or did I get a half filler? I must have got a half filler. I don't know where you start the ammo that quickly. Did you drop a sack? I heard a sack. Must have missed it. So far, the choice to use the jetpack has been very much so a good one. Nail gun. We do get a nail gun synergy. Ooh. Yeah, this is a good synergy. This makes the nail gun really good. It has the bleed effect, which is only visual, I believe. But it I think it triples the damage it deals. The synergy. Which, yeah, makes it real good. I like that quite a lot. Also, this thing doesn't have to reload. I always forget that. Very, very nice. Awesome, we are shredding this floor so far. Managed to get a good amount of money. I heard him. Oh, there he is. I was like, where the hell is he? Uh, he's going to stone me, unfortunately. This room's an absolute jerk. I just made a room that looks like a burp. <laughs> it's terrible. It's actually an awful room. But it's funny, so it's fine. Right. Don't know how I didn't get hit there. Shot grub shot coming at me. 
to get ourselves the pista. Can't remember how the pista works. I think the pista is like the closer you are to an enemy, the more damage it does. We should probably just take a look. Um, six tiny spirits inhabit this gun, gleefully riding its bullets into battle and re-aim towards the nearest enemy when the owner signals them via reloading. Okay, that's pretty nice. Okay, so basically we fire a bunch of shots and then we reload, which is actually, again, really good with backup gun. Because we get full use out of all the shots. Now, our shot speed is a little high and there's quite a lot of walls in this floor, so it's not ideal. But it's pretty cool. I like the idea of it. It's a fun gun. I should also look at what that revolver did as well. I never really looked at that. Uh, rusty old-fashioned revolver belongs to a mysterious figure who doesn't like to conform to the convention of the Gungeon. Lightweight and packs a punch. Perfect in espionage. Okay, this is the Spice Pistol. Spice Revolver. It's unfortunately a little bit hard to, to utilize because I take my finger off the trigger to hit reload. In less crowded rooms, rooms with less walls, it's going to be pretty good. I think it's about often, like, reloading often with this thing. I like it with the, uh, with this. It's set up. It's good set up. Right. Over here again. Um, no shop this floor, of course. No you. Okay, no you is in interesting. Um, a track. Uh, wait a minute. I'm just going to drop it so I can see what it does properly. Um, increases the damage of every gun that does not contain the letter U. Uh, half the projectile speed of every gun that has it in its name. Damn it, Pista. Couldn't you have worked with me on this one? Right, so let's have a little look, see. Anything with you has got half projectile speed. Anything without a U has 25% damage bonus. So if that's got a bonus... Um, that's got a bonus... Ah, bugger. This doesn't have a bonus in the project, but the projectile speed doesn't really matter. This has a bonus. This has a bonus. This has a bonus. Nail gun has a bonus. Oh, no, nail gun doesn't, unfortunately. Pista uh, does have a bonus. So Pista might be a boss killer here, but I'm honestly just wanting to use the duck gun to start with. So I think I'm going to go duck gun into Pista, maybe. Um, or duck gun into nail gun, actually. Although, yeah, nail gun does get the downgrade. Um... Yeah, let's go, let's go duck gun into Pista. See how that works. Let's also turn off our jetpack here. Actually, wait a minute. Jetpack might kind of be okay. Because I can use the outskirts of the arena. Okay, that was a terrible idea. I didn't think about the fact that there's some of his attacks that you kind of can't dodge. Okay, we're all out of ammo on this bad boy. But yeah, with this arena being so big... I'm thinking that the, the re-aimed bullets are going to be really good. Working out so far. This attack's always a problem for me, but I got lucky there. Quite a lot of these fellas here, but the re-aim... The good thing about the re-aim is it, it shoots it directly at the enemy, so we don't have to worry about where we're aiming for it to work. Really cool weapon. Really fun synergy. The micro synergy we've got going on. I think we're going to refill the duck gun again, because that's just a very fun weapon right now. Unfortunately, we got a pretty bad weapon here. And we do get a black chest in this area. There it is. Thank God I had the money for it. I didn't realize it was locked. <laughs> we of course have the statue as well, which is useless to us. This thing is going to be really good with um, with backup gun as well, by the way. Anyways, we are out of here. A scap here. Very fun floor for us there. Uh, I'll try and do the, the Old West on the next run as well, because I haven't been there in quite a while. Just seeing, um, seeing Alexa go back through those floors again was like, oh shit, I should try and go to those floors more often. I really enjoy um, the Belly of the Beast. The fact that it contains a guaranteed black chest at the end is always fun. Um, and the boss is really thematic and the difficulty is is really balanced for where he shows up, in my opinion. Um, and I like the idea of the, um, the little exploding dudes, the amalgamation enemies, whatever you want to call them, the Cronenbergs. That's pretty cool. It's very, very nice. But yeah, we're going to... Uh, 
jump to the next floor and use our... Probably just use our duck gun for clearing, then use the particulator or whatever the hell it's called for the boss fighting. Is it called the particulator? I feel like it's called the particulator. What the hell is it called? Particulator. Okay, cool. I'm right about that. Right, so let's let's use the duck gun for room clearing for now. I'm going to go back to using my jetpack as well, because this floor is honestly going to be a joke for us for the most part. Witch Lady, hello. Hellbound, Armor of the Fallen. Let's have a look-see. Move slower, get a trail of fire. No thank you. Anything with a movement down is not for me. Boosts you after falling in a pit. Less damage to jammed enemies. Eh. Saves you from death once, but charges you every floor. All three of those are not really my style on this run in particular. I'm sorry to say, Gungeon Modders. But if you ever add a movement speed down to something, it's an item I will never take. I hate movement speed downs. One of, one of the reasons is just I hate moving slow, but also another reason is that vanilla Gungeon never gives you a speed down from anything, and so it feels really out of place when they, when you get, get a speed down. It doesn't feel right. <laughs> That's just me being picky though, so do what you will, but it's not my idea of a good downside. Right, ooh, adhesive grenade is very fun. Kind of interesting to see the sticky launcher and the sticky bomb right next to each other. Um, do we have any weapons we might want to throw in the trash? Honestly, I love the clicker, but it's just too, it's too difficult to use. Um, it's too difficult to use on controller, to, to use it effectively, should I say. Unless it's like a boss that's stationary. Um... We'll go like that. And we unfortunately got a weapon we can't use. It might have been fixed, but this weapon has been known to break the game. And I don't know if it's been fixed yet. So I'm just going to play it safe and not try that. Just in case. Because I would rather not break my game. The developer is aware of the issue, by the way. I'm just not entirely sure if it's been fixed yet or not. There's a very strong possibility that by now it has been. Because it's been known. The bug's been known about for a few weeks now. So there's a very good chance, but... Without confirmation of that fact, I'm going to leave it there for now. But it is a cool gun. It's a gun that apparently, like, evolves when you kill things. Um, pretty, pretty interesting. I love the fact how the ducks stay around for so long. But yeah, we do, we do have that negative to uh, projectile speed on this. So the ducks are moving at a very, like, slowed down rate. But I kind of find that funny. Just makes it look like they suck at flying. Right. Go, my duck friends. Good. It's kind of a set it and forget it type weapon as well. You fire your shots and you bugger off and get to the next enemy while the ducks do their thing. Unfortunately, they do fly into walls quite often though. We did get one of these floors. We'd be going into the fourth floor with, with the, uh, the old blue stuff going on. I'm tempted by it, I am. But I would lose out on a shop as a swindler, so I'm not going to bother, actually. If it didn't take over the shop, I'd, I'd, I'd actually take that more often. But I'm, I'm not a fan of the fact that it takes over the shop. No, uh, well, I, I'll say, I, I, I'll sort of reword that. I'm not a fan of the fact that it still costs, um, that it still costs heart containers. Yeah, I'll open this up, why not? Not very happy with that, but there you go. Can't win them all. Don't know how much our Sinner Grace will be. Kind of hoping not a lot because I've just wasted money on that chest. Wait, do we not have another chest? Oh, no, other chest is a blue chest. Eh. 
Cinegris is more worthwhile. I'm hoping I can afford her. Yeah, 57. Let's do it. Yeah, Synergy. Macho Brace. Synergy with... The Blunder Brace? Oh, nice. Okay. This is a Synergy as well that doesn't require... Not bad. Doesn't require us to actually um, roll. Because I'm like, oh, crap, that's not going to be great with this, but... Kind of nice. Okay. Not the best thing to get a synergy for, I'll be honest, but not terrible. Um, I think we're definitely going to go with ducks again here. By the way, I realize I haven't been using Barter to re-roll at all. I just haven't really needed it this run. It's slowly approaching. Slowly approaching ducks come in to do their deed. The way that the ducks deal damage is interesting. I think they like do like multiple ticks of damage once they hit the enemy because those bells died like insanely quickly. I think we're about done here. I don't think I need to do any more. There you go. Don't really want to trade my HP in right now. Machine fist, decent. I think we're out of here. Good, good, let's go. Right, yeah. I think, oh, actually, nah, I'm not, I'm not going to do the emerge thing because it's cool and all, but I've seen it before and I, I'd rather have an actual shop. It taking over my shop as, as, the, as a character that basically relies on being able to purchase things as part of his gimmick. It doesn't rely on it, I wouldn't say, but it's one of his cool features, the fact that he can re-roll and purchase more stuff from shops. I'm going to skip out on that one. He says after going to a floor that has no shop. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So far, I'm really liking this run, though. Flak, flak bullets plus backup gun are two really, really fun uh, items to get together. They work very interestingly with a lot of things. And we're seeing some of the modded weapons we're getting some pretty interesting results out of. I did not like that hit. Although I didn't lose much money to that, actually, because I was on, like, 8 cases, so... Wasn't that bad in that regard. Just using the knockback on this thing. Try use the blunderbuss, maybe see if it's any good. I don't know how good it is with this synergy. So far, not very. So far, not very at all. It's just kind of average. That is unfortunate. Um, use this thing a little more. We haven't used this thing in a while. Like, just, I don't know what the hell's going on with this gun, but, like, just, just, just take a watch. I've got 55 ammo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 shots, and I've got 50 ammo. I spent, I spent, fired 12 times, and I've only spent 5 shots. Like, what, what, what's going on with this gun? Did it always do that? Is that just something I never noticed? Or is that something to do with backup gun? I really don't know. I see you, you powered up fella. It's an interesting case with this one. Mega Dowser. Doesn't even work. 
Right, um, nail gun should be pretty good for taking out a mini boss. Doing decently enough. Did get hit there. Bit of an oof. Did just blank there. Whoops. Didn't really mean to do that, but the fight is done. Unfortunately, absolutely terrible drops from that. Maybe I'll use this for room clearing for a little bit, because this thing is really good. I need to use my jetpack again. The speed boost and flight is just so nice. Unfortunately... Our shops have been very, very dookie as of late. Chicken flute, I will take. I respect a good old chicken flute. A um, ammo lock, I'm guessing that's blanks can open locks. Although, again, I should check. Um, blanks lock enemies in place, unable to move. Okay, a little bit different than I expected, but still good. Blank shop. Ooh, balloon boy. Balloon boy would be very good. I also am kind of interested to see what this guanstone does. Indigo guanstone. I, I definitely had it before, but I do not remember. But considering it's 135, it makes me think it's probably something pretty special. And if it isn't, I'd be upset. We'll see if we get there. It kind of relies on if we get many sacks, and I believe I just watched one disappear in front of my eyes there. So, off to a good start. The sacks ain't doing too good. We do have to get the ability to sell a bunch of shit to this guy as well, so... I suppose if we really wanted it, we can sell some stuff, which I'll probably do, actually. We've got... A bunch of guns that we're not really using. Honestly, the Macho Brace and the and the thingy, uh, what's it called? Blunderbuss. I'll probably sell both of those. I realized they're a synergy. And I paid quite a lot for a dude. That was some horse shit. You know it. No, it wasn't really. But I'm still annoyed by it. I walked into that guy's slowing aura and then got hit by a rocket. And it, felt, it felt bad. I lost money I shouldn't have lost. And thus... Anger. Hey, the angry chickens are here. And they ain't playing around. The sacks are just light at the minute. Really light. Not getting many at all. Right. Boss time. Right, okay, so what can we sell? Have a little look, see. I mean, we can sell all of our junk, of course. Honestly, I'm going to sell the amulet I just got as well. I don't really care for that. Match your brace as well. And then. Yeah, I'm going to sell this. It's not something I'm going to use. Mega Dowser will sell. Wonderbus will sell. I think I'm pretty happy with everything else I have right now. How much do I need? Okay, I think I've got enough. 135. Nice. Okay, let's see what this thing does. Orbit's close, offering bullet... Um, offering bullet banishing protection. The bloodstone of an ancient frost giant hardened by time and cold. Orbit's close offers bullet banishing protection. Don't really know what that means. Let's use this thing for a bit here. Unfortunately, it does have to slow our projectiles here. Just realized that I'm not... I was using my jetpack for a little bit there. Big mistake. Chicken's going wild again. Good. Okay, it did do a blank there, I think. Well, that was good. I think it blanked. 
Oh, 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 why are they multiplying? Does anyone know why they're multiplying? <laughs> I wonder if that deals damage. It'd be pretty funny if it did. It does. It does. I'm not quite sure why it's working that way. It definitely shouldn't be. But I like it nonetheless, and I'm going to try and abuse it. You'll never see me not abuse a broken mechanic when I come across one. It is a must. Basically, we just fire, spin around, and it fires a bunch of manga. Although, what I could do... Nah, I was going to say, maybe I could just fire them all in one direction and have like a mega beam. But I don't know how useful that actually is. Maybe on the dragon fight, it could be pretty good. I'm going to try it out in at least one room here. Basically, you fire in the opposite direction I want to fire in, then like 10 lasers will come out my back. And I can try and utilize them. We'll see. I've got the general idea down. So basically, I do this. I let them all build up. And then... Pff, okay, that's good. That's pretty good. Okay, that's really good. Whatever's breaking with this thing, I like it. I see the secret room, don't worry. <gasps> Ooh, cool secret room. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, wait, does it work with the demon head as well? If it works with the demon head as well, I'm going to be very happy. Ah, this one's just normal. It's not broken. <laughs> it just does like 10 gamma rays worth of damage at once. It's obscene, and I love it. Okay, I do not like this situation, and I'm gonna remedy it with one of these. It does seem that my indigo thing is doing small blanks, which is pretty nice. It's kind of like having the owl, I guess. Similar to that. This is gonna get me hit. I need that fire to go away. Just accept that some of my money is going to get lost there. <clears throat> Dead. It also seems to have some herming to it. Oh, hello. Um, charge shot. Ah, none of those are that good for me. Dude, this thing is good. I should have been hit there, and it saved my life. Right, just to experiment, while I've got the ammo, how quickly does it melt this guy? Oh, wait. I, once I've set it up, I can then turn around. And then it keeps firing. Although I can't roll while I'm doing this, which certainly causes some issues. Yeah. Kind of bound to happen, wasn't it? Not the best boss for doing this, really, because there's just so many situations in which I have to roll. 
Not that one, though. I like this. This is a fun glitch. I don't know what's causing it, but it's a fun glitch. I love the chicken in this fight. It's so funny. He just gets fucking raging mad. Beautiful. Beautiful! I was going to explore the rest of this floor, but honestly, the, the, the video is approaching, like, an hour. So, we're going to leave it at that, I think. Um, we did do all the extra floors. It went very well. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed this one, because it was indeed a good one. We might as well put on our jetpack while we're here. D does the jetpack still stay active in here? It does not. How very upsetting. Right. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, yeah. It was an absolute blast. And yeah, Indigo Guanstone, very, very good. It seems to be like a better owl. Like, it, it seemed to go off multiple times. I'm not sure if it's whenever it gets hit or whenever something gets near it, but it, it triggers a lot of mini blanks. And with other amulets, if I'd have kept that lockdown amulet, it would have been really good with that, actually. So it's a bit of a shame I got rid of that, but hey-ho, either way. Hope you guys enjoy this one, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.